Today, I'm going to recreate another problematic transition that I saw on the internet on a news website this time. And this was a modal window that appeared. It's one of those annoying windows that pops up on every website these days asking you to sign up for a newsletter or something. And usually I just dismiss them immediately. But this one, I noticed it faded in in a really ugly way. The background shade kind of appeared suddenly. Then the modal faded in. And the close button wasn't visible for a moment. And then it suddenly appeared. It didn't fade in nicely. It just suddenly appeared. And when I closed it, it took a long time to animate out. I'm just sitting there waiting for it to go away so I can continue reading. And at that point, I've already closed it, so it doesn't really matter to them if I'm still seeing it as it fades out. It should really just go away quickly. And so in this example, I'm using Flinto to recreate this transition. And I first do it the broken way. I recreate all the problems. And then we fix those problems and create a transition that works much more nicely. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's first take one more look at that transition. So here's the website, the modal's about to pop up. And the first thing I want you to notice is that the shade in the background doesn't animate in, it just appears suddenly, and then the modal fades in. So you see that? Now I'm gonna play it one more time, and this time I want you to notice that the modal itself fades in kind of slowly. It could, it could stand to fade in a lot more quickly. Because the longer I'm waiting for that to fade in, I'm just sitting there waiting so that I can see what the heck this is, the only reason for this to animate in at all is just to make it slightly less jarring. But they've already kind of made it jarring by having the background fade in immediately, and now I'm just waiting for this kind of pointless animation to complete. Next thing to notice is that there's no X button. So let's play this one more time, and you'll notice in the top right there's no X button to get rid of it. And it takes quite a while before it appears. Now I don't know if that was intentional so that I wouldn't dismiss this too quickly, but that seems a little shady, and even when it does appear, that would be nice if it animated in, but of course it just appears suddenly. And then let's watch when I close it. That animation takes too long in my mind, because at that point I've already said I don't want to see this, and I just want to get back to the article, but I have to just wait a moment while it fades out so I can see this gratuitous animation. Okay, to set up this animation I have two screens. One is the article, and one is the article with a modal overlaid on top of it. So I'm going to create a big link on the first screen, targeting the second screen. Then I'm going to create a transition where I'm going to set up this animation, and I'm going to start by doing it the way that I saw on this website, which was kind of broken. So I'm going to make the same mistakes on purpose here. First thing I'm going to do is align the screens, and now I need to make the start of the transition look like the start screen. So that means hiding all these elements. I'll start by fading out this close button because I want that to animate in in a special way. So I'm going to fade it out, make the opacity zero, and I'm going to scroll down here to timing and set the duration to zero. And then I'm going to set the delay to a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. That means there's going to be a one second delay, and then it's going to appear without any animation. Now the modal itself, this entire group, I'm going to fade that out, and I'm going to make sure the duration for that is something a little bit too long. So half a second, that's a bit longer than I would do intentionally, but the, um, the website that I used for my example, I think the animation was a bit too long. Next, I'm gonna take this background layer and fade it out, and it also appeared too quickly. So I'm gonna set the duration to zero, so there's no animation for the background. Now remember, these are mistakes that I'm intentionally creating for the purpose of this demonstration. So as I toggle back and forth, you can see that the background appears immediately, then the modal fades in, and then the X appears immediately. So a very jarring transition, I think. So I'm going to exit out of the transition designer and make some links going back. So I'm going to make a link over this X, target the original screen, and what I'm going to do here is duplicate the transition that I just made. I'm going to select that. I'll rename this to go back. So I'm going to customize the transition when you go back and I'm going to click this button down here in the bottom left, which is Reverse Transition. Because I'm using the same transition, but it goes in the opposite direction. So it's very important that I choose this Reverse Transition. And I've duplicated it so that I can make tweaks to this version that goes back. So now I'm going to edit it, and I'll make those tweaks. So what I want to do is I want the X button to not have the delay when it goes back. Because on the actual website, when I dismiss this modal, the X button didn't have any delay when it went back it faded out with the rest of the modal. 
So what I'll do is I'll find that X button here, the close button layer, and I can turn the delay off of it. But actually what makes this even easier is that it doesn't need to do anything. So I can right click here and say reset layer. And now this, animate, this layer has no animation on it and it's just gonna fade out with the rest of the modal, which is a group that encompasses it. Now I can test that out and that looks like what I wanted. All right, so now when I go from the article to the modal, it uses one transition, and when I go back, it uses a slightly tweaked version of it. So I'm also going to link this button here, which also dismisses the modal, to use that same go back transition. And again, it's very important that I choose the reverse transition option because this transition was originally set up as a transition that goes from the article to the modal, and in this case, we're using it in the opposite direction. Okay, so now I wanna test it out. I'm opening the preview window, and I can tap both of these links, one to open the modal and one to close it. And you'll see all the problems here. The background doesn't animate in, so it immediately flashes into existence. Then the modal fades in a bit too slowly, so I'm sitting there waiting for it. And then the X button is not visible until a moment later when it appears suddenly without animation. All right, so let's fix all these problems. So I'm gonna select my first big link and I'm going to Let's rename the transition that we created. So this is the first transition that we created. I'm gonna call it bad modal. Now I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm going to select the duplicate one and I'll name it good modal. So this is the one that I'm going to fix and make it work better. So I'll click edit on that so I can make those fixes. Now the main thing we wanna do is reset this close button um, because I don't want that to have the special animation where there's a delay. I just want it to animate in with the rest of the modal. So I'm gonna say reset layer so that layer, it's as if I never touched it. And now the shade layer in the background, that animates in too quickly, right? It's zero milliseconds, it just appears suddenly. So I'm gonna set that to, I'm gonna go with 150 milliseconds. Cause I want that to come in pretty fast, but not instantly, cause it's too jarring. Now the modal itself, 500 milliseconds is too long, especially when this is something that pops up, people weren't expecting it, and they're sitting there waiting for it to appear. We'd like it to appear more quickly. So I'm gonna say 250, a little bit slower than the background. And that looks nice, that's all I need to do. So I'll exit out. And uh, now I wanna just set up these backlinks. And now I'm gonna change both of these links that go back to just be regular backlinks. Because the transition, the way it's set up now, can work nicely uh, in either direction. So I'm just gonna select the first link, press B on my keyboard to change it into a backlink. And then select the second link, press B on my keyboard, that's the shortcut to turn it into a backlink. Remember, backlinks go back to the previous screen and reverse the transition automatically. All right, now this is a lot smoother. You don't see that jarring flash. The X button fades in with everything else. Much nicer. Now to really demonstrate the difference between these two, I'm gonna make it so that there's two links on this screen. So I'm gonna make this link take up half the screen and then draw another link next to it. And on this one, I'm gonna use the bad modal uh, transition that we created earlier. So this will allow me to choose which transition I wanna use and we can, we can go back and forth and try both. So I'll choose bad modal. Let's make it so that one of these uses the bad link going back. So I'll target the, the initial screen and change the transition to uh, go back. That's the one that we created before. And for this one, again, I'll target the initial screen and I'll use uh, the good modal transition in reverse. And this will ensure that both of those use their respective transitions when I'm going backwards. Okay, open up the preview again. And now when I click the left side of the screen, it'll do the good transition. So let's try that. And when I click the X, it'll do the good transition going back. So let's try that. And now if I click the right side of the screen, it does the bad transition. So hopefully you can start to see the difference now. And when I click the gray button, it does the bad transition going back. So hopefully you can see the difference. It's so jarring when those layers just appear suddenly and when the X button uh, takes a while to fade in. So that's it for this week. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, if you want me to do more recreations like this, or if you'd like me to focus more on Flinto features or something else. And uh, be sure if you haven't tried Flinto, go to our website. You can try it free for 14 days. Give it a shot. There's over 100 other tutorial videos on our channel to help you get started.